just for you. You will not know to only catch a miracle. God will catch you and bring you into a miracle. Where is the person I'm talking about there? Father, in Jesus' name tonight, we thank you for what you have done, what you did yesterday, and we thank you for what you are doing at this very time. Lord, I pray nobody will miss your manifestation of power in Jesus' name. Fulfill your word. Do like you have always done. You are a miracle worker. You are the savior. You are a redeemer. You are the deliverer. You are the solver of every problem. Tonight, glorify yourself in everybody's life. Fulfill your word tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, I bring a message to you. You'll find the message now in Matthew chapter 9, verse 29. Matthew chapter 9, verse 29. If you have opened your Bible, you can see it with me. If not, just listen. It will be fulfilled in your life. Then touched he their eyes, saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. He touched their eyes. And then he told them, according to your faith, be it unto you. What Jesus was saying is this. As for him, is being from all eternity. All things were made for him. And without him was nothing made that was made. He has power. He has authority. And he can do everything. And as he came to these people, or they came to him, he wanted to have an understanding. If you have the understanding that Jesus Christ is all in all, his savior, his healer, his deliverer, is the solution to every problem. Once you are in agreement, he says, I can do this. You accept, he can do what he says, he can do. He will do what he says, he will do that agreement of understanding. Jesus says, I am savior. You agree, he is your savior. That's faith. Jesus says, I am your healer. You agree, I've come to the final solution. He is my healer. He says, I am your deliverer. There is no cord, there is no thing, nothing that ties you that he cannot untie and loose. And he will say, Loose him and let him go. And you know that's talking about you. Once you agree with that, that tonight I am loosed. I am delivered. I am saved. I am healed. That agreement with the Lord Jesus Christ will be fulfilled in your life. So he touched their heart. He touched their eyes now. These people that came to Christ had problem in their eyes. That's why he touched their eyes. If you have problem with your heart, it will not touch your heart. Your eyes will touch your heart. If you have problem with your ears, it will not touch your eyes. It will touch your ears. If there is cancer that is eating up a part of your body, it will not touch your eyes. It will touch the place where that cancer is eating you up. 
if your legs are broken you have broken bones it's not going to touch your eyes it's going to touch the broken bone and the broken bone will join immediately and if you have one leg shorter than the other it's not going to touch your eyes it's going to touch that short leg and that short leg will grow out tonight and if you have any brain problem it's not going to touch your eyes that's not where your problem is where your problem is that is in your brain it will touch your brain that brain will become normal any part of your body any part of your life spiritually as well as uh, physically and naturally supernaturally the lord is touching you tonight your problems are taken away I, I want you to notice that thing that jesus said there he said according to your faith be it unto you i'm talking to you now according to your faith be it unto you according to your faith be it unto you what does that mean as you are hearing the word of God and you say, Praise the Lord. Tonight is my night. Praise the Lord. Tonight is the night of my salvation. Praise the Lord. Tonight is the night of my healing. That's your faith. That's your confession. It's done. According to your faith, be it unto you. You are blessed tonight. Hearing the word, you are blessed. While the message is going on, you are blessed. Standing up, you are blessed. According to your faith. According to my faith. According to my faith. According to my faith. It shall be unto me. Now, look at this. It doesn't matter what the problem is. It doesn't matter what pain you're feeling now. It is not according to your pain. No. It's, it doesn't matter your background. According to your background. It doesn't matter. It's not according to your emotion. According to your emotion, it will be unto you. It is not according to the thoughts that are passing on in your mind. I am not fortunate. I am this, I am that, I came from the north, I came from the south. It's not according to your tribe. It's not according to your culture. It's not according to your peculiarities. You know, I'm not educated. I'm not uh, civilized. It's not according to education. There is only one thing God is looking at, and he has seen that in you tonight. I said he saw that in you tonight according to your faith it will be unto you it's not according to the seriousness of the problem i'm lame i cannot walk i'm on crutches it's not according to your lameness it's not according to your blindness it is according to your faith it will be unto you it must be unto you it will be unto you. Praise the Lord tonight. The only thing he considers is not your condition, it's your faith. You got it. I want you to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And we're looking at verse 13. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And we're looking at verse 13. Look at this. We have been the same spirit of faith. We don't have the same amount of money that other people have. We don't have the amount of knowledge that other people have. We don't have the amount of popularity or name or position that other people have. But we have the same amount of faith. And it does, other things don't matter. And the only thing that matters is your faith. Tonight, according to your faith i said according to your faith an adult that is waiting the bed at night it's not your age it's not who you are 
But tonight, that waiting of the bed will stop. Because it is according to your faith, and it says we, all of us now, say I. Say I. Having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. According as it is written. The writing here we're talking about is the writing of revelation from heaven. You know, everybody writes, a primary school child writes, and uh, a secondary school child writes, an engineer writes, a judge writes, and a doctor writes, and he says, this is incurable, and this is incredible. I've never seen any sickness like this before. Writing, writing, writing. And now the Almighty God writes something else about you. What they have written will be cancelled, will be blotted out. There is an eraser from heaven that blots out and wipes out what every other person has written. And what God has written that will be fulfilled in your life. But that's why it says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written. I believe. I believe what heaven has written about you. I believe your blindness, what heaven has written. I believe. And your deafness, whatever heaven has written, I believe. And the yoke in your life, whatever heaven has written, I believe. Your calm was something that they gave you after they took astray. And what they wrote there, I said, my son, my daughter, I don't believe that one. I don't accept that one. The only thing I believe about you is what heaven has written i said the only thing i believe about you is what heaven which heaven has written will be fulfilled in your life tonight in jesus name we then having the same spirit of faith according as it is written i believe Therefore have I spoken. I believe, therefore have I spoken. What man writes, what God writes, those two things are set before you. And you see what man has written, you see what the doctors have written, and you see what the people who have tried to teach you, teach you, teach you, and you could get nothing, you could catch nothing, and they wrote and they said, this one will never make it. I see what the men have written about you, and then I turn around, and I see what God has written about you, that he raises, that wipes up everything that any man has written, and I say, this is one, what I believe. And this is what I speak. It says, therefore, have I spoken? We also believe and therefore speak. We also believe what is written from above and we speak. What is written from above, I accept. Are you there? I say, what is written from above, I accept. What do you believe tonight? What do you accept tonight? What's going to happen to you tonight? The Lord says, according to your faith, it will be unto you. Tonight, I talk to you very briefly, according to your faith. According to your faith. When you are going on the way and a voice speaks to you, you say, no, I don't accept that, according to my faith. And when you are feeling any pain in your body and something is telling you you are going, you will soon die. You say, I don't accept that according to my faith. That's what I believe according to your faith. 
according to your faith according to your faith now you know i'm going to briefly talk about one two three one two three but in one in two in three i want you to be looking for two words all things all things all things god did not put you here on earth for your life to be incomplete god did not put you here on earth for your hand to be all right and your feet are not all right god did not create somebody that will be a failure that you have eyes to see but no ears to hear god did not put you here that only part of your life will work all things somebody help me shout all things three things number one the fullness of god's promises the fullness of god's promises number two the faith in god's power the faith in god's power number three the foundation of god's people the foundation of god's people you see there are people they do not walk on the foundation they do not walk or step on solid ground all the ground they are stepping on is like a mast with a deep ditch underneath but when the lord touches you tonight he raises you up and he brings you upon a foundation and you will stand i said you will stand listen everything you had missed since you were born until this time i tried to catch this i couldn't i tried to get this i couldn't i tried to have that i couldn't every time i want to get into what god has for me there is somebody that jumps in before me everything you have missed since you were born until this time everything is going to be restored unto you that's why tonight we're looking for those two words any scripture I read to you either you see everything or you see all things and you know that's what I believe according to your faith number one now number one the fullness of God's promises look at Matthew chapter 19 Matthew chapter 19 we're reading from verse 25 Matthew chapter 19 reading from verse 25 when his disciples heard it they were exceedingly amazed saying who then can be saved who then can be delivered who then can be healed who then can be set free who then can be a possessor when his disciples they saw what happened to a man he couldn't have the eternal life he wanted to have because he didn't link up with jesus christ to help him and then the disciples said if a man like this didn't make it who else will make it look at verse 26 in verse 26 it tells us it says but jesus beheld them and said unto them with men this is impossible you know in our lives that's where people stop they've gone to the hospital and the doctor has examined them and the doctor said i remember the doctor a good man but still a man a trained man but still a man a scientific man but still a man a medical man but still a man and that man says this is impossible 
that's where some people stop you will not stop there you take your child to a psychiatrist to a person that examines the brain and the psychology of emotion and behavior and they said that child has been on drugs and because of that is having all these behavioral problems and the man psychiatric man but still a man knowledgeable man but still a man he said madam this case is impossible i've read all the cases i've seen all the results but madam this is impossible that's where some people stop and they say man said it's impossible knowledgeable man said it's impossible qualified man said it is impossible they give up and they make their lives to stop at the knowledge of man but now jesus somebody help me shout jesus our healer somebody say healer our deliverer somebody say deliverer the power of god on earth jesus said but with god all things are possible notice those two words all things that's the promise he's giving us tonight in your life all things are possible in your body all things are possible whatever sins you have committed there is forgiveness here tonight there's salvation here tonight salvation is possible for you it will be done in jesus name i'm talking to somebody now you've been carrying a secret body a secret guilt you feel it it presses you and it's like i come to church i read the bible but I don't have any hope of heaven because, and I cannot tell anybody this, I cannot, they, they count me as an important figure in the fellowship and I know that this burden on my heart, one day it will kill me, but I won't show it, I'll be coming to church. But you know, tonight, that thing that looks impossible, the burden in your heart, the load of sin in your heart, and the guilt, forgiveness has come. Redemption has come. Salvation has come. Because with you disappeared, impossible. But with God, all things are possible all things look at romans chapter 8 in romans chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 32 romans chapter 8 verse 32 he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him freely give us freely give us freely give us all things let me explain to you you had a problem i had a problem we had a problem it's the problem of sin all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We wanted to be saved. We wanted to be free. We wanted that sin that separated us from God removed. So we can have a direct link with God. And God said, what will I do? How am I going to remove their sin? And then one angel came up 
I volunteer. No, you are not capable. You are just an angel. You are a created being. Another man comes up, and that man happens to have been free. A man like Enoch. Can I do something? God says, you are not qualified. You are a man. You are born in St. Jude. Although you are redeemed later. And the only price God could pay is his perfect, eternal, spotless son that created the world within. And Jesus said, I will go and pay the price. Let me stop there now and come to this other side. There are some people that say I'm worthless, like a sheet of paper. I mean, nobody. Do you think God will spend uh, the greatest thing he has for a nobody? Somebody is not important. You're important. You're precious. And that's why God did not spare the greatest in heaven. And he's saying that greatest in heaven, he didn't send the greatest in heaven for a non-entity, for somebody not important. You are precious and important in his sight. That's why he gave the very greatest that heaven could supply to come and pay the penalty for your sin. You must be saved. I said you must be saved. What do you think? What do you think? Somebody has paid, he collected all the money he has on earth in every bank account and he put it on a particular thing to buy and they have got the money from him and then he does not collect what he paid the money on. That will not be a wise man. God is wiser than that. After God has given his only begotten son to pay the price of your penalty, he must collect you. He has purchased you. He has bought you. And he paid the greatest price for you. He must save you. Look at this. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up. For how many people? I said for how many people? Talk if you are sure. If you are sure. For us all, salvation is there tonight. The price has been paid. The penalty has been taken away from you. And you are saved tonight in Jesus' name. Now, now, look at this. Look at the latter part of that. He says, how shall he not with him also, also freely give us how many things? All things. That's the promise is coming tonight. All things include healing. All things include miracle. All things include deliverance. All things include answer to your prayer. Whatever your prayer is, is tonight, your prayer is answered in Jesus' name. Let me come to point number two. Point number two is uh, now point number two is the faith in God's power the faith in God's power now faith in God's power there are many people that think do I have faith not only that I think I know that you have faith I'm talking to you in particular, not any other person. You, you have faith. Say, I have faith. Look at that car that is broken down, windows shattered, body dented, engine knocked, everything completely out. And then somebody said, you know what? There is a particular mechanic. And no matter how battered that vehicle is, he'll put it on the road again. And then uh, you call somebody to tow that vehicle to that shop of the mechanic now. 
you have not even seen that mechanic before you are basing your decision on what somebody said about the mechanic and you're so sure and you say and you go to him and you say look at this car he said i can fix it and you don't say how do you know you can fix it you accept immediately he will fix it and then you say when do i come back for the vehicle you know why you said when you didn't say if you finish if you are able you just said when do i come you have faith in the man and now he says come back in two weeks time everything will be all right you got back home and your wife said when are you going to collect the vehicle you see you don't say i think you say in two weeks time that vehicle will get back home here what's that that's faith in that man now god the creator who is able to fix anything in your body able to repair anything in your body you know if that mechanic a man has spare parts to put this spare parts to put no, the God of heaven has spare part of the eyes. The eyes that are, you know, totally bad and nothing can be worked on it. There's a spare part tonight. It will be fixed in there. And the eardrums that are, you know, those eardrums are gone. God has a spare part. He will fix it tonight in Jesus' name. Any part of your life, your life is in shambles and it appears you can do nothing. There's a spare part in heaven. And the Lord says tonight, he will do it in your life. I, I want you to come to Luke. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. It says, with God nothing shall be impossible salvation is there tonight deliverance is there tonight healing is there tonight because for with god nothing shall be impossible you've been racking your brain about an aspect of your life you see how can this be how can that be come back to god with god nothing shall be impossible you have a problem child and that problem child has driven you to the very edge of your wheels and you are saying thinking about this child can give me hypertension thinking about this child can give me depression you are thinking about yourself and you are thinking how do i solve this you cannot solve that Come to God. God tonight will fix up that child. Because for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Now, we're going to read another verse. This is Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Look at what he's saying here. Jesus said, unto him hold on jesus the same yesterday today and forever if jesus is talking to you tonight will he say something different than he said before i want to hear you jesus the same in power the same in love the same in knowledge, the same in mercy, the same in his willingness to hell. And Jesus said at that time, and he has not changed. And if Jesus is going to talk today, Jesus is going to say exactly what he said at that time. What did he say then? What's he saying now? Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe that means if you can believe tell me what are the two words after that believe tell me the two words after that what believe all things 
in your life all things in your body all things in your brain all things in the circumstances of your life tell me why will you go around as an orphan having no helper no daddy no mommy and there is no no one that can help you and you're going around as if i am unfortunate no you are not unfortunate you are lucky you are blessed and it's wonderful that christ could be thinking about you and he says if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth that problem is solved that situation is turned around because if you can believe all things are possible to him one person to her one person to you there today one person all things are possible unto you amen amen in your life amen amen in your family amen now now look at the consequence of that all that we have read now with god nothing shall be impossible and with you as you believe all things are possible look at the conclusion there matthew chapter 21 verse 22 matthew chapter 21 we're looking at verse 22 look at that look at that there are two words i'm looking for there have you found those two words there have you found those two words there look at that and all things don't go away yet and all things and all things there's no limitation in your life there is no limitation in your miracle tonight according to your faith be it unto you in jesus name look at this and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer every prayer you pray tonight every prayer i pray tonight for anyone for anybody however far you may be and however near you may be an answer a miracle has come for you tonight all things whatsoever all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive i receive i receive salvation i receive forgiveness i receive miracle i receive healing i receive uh, look at point three look at point three here uh, the foundation for god's people the foundation for god's people foundation foundation is when you stand and you know that that ground will hold you and will take your weight and you will not sink and you will not fall you know tonight your life will be more stable than it had ever been since you were born in jesus name yeah, look look at job look at job chapter 42 job chapter 42 we're reading from verse 2 in job chapter 42 verse 2 while you are opening job let me tell you what happened to job satan complained about job satan made a request about job and said let me touch him let him harass him let me put sickness upon him let me do something that will make him forget you backslide and curse you and god said i'm sure he will not deny me i'm sure he will not forsake me okay go and do what you want to do and you wait and all his power all his evil 
he centered each on one man and that man became so sick that the wife even said this is too much are you going to hold on to your integrity yet cause God and die and Job said no I will not cause God and I will not die in this condition and then as the conversation went on he said I know that my redeemer lives the, uh, the, the body was like dying and the pain was unbearable and yet he said I know when you know that your redeemer your healer your deliverer your savior and your king and your lord that he lives no matter where you are no matter where you're suffering god will bring you out it's according to your faith look at verse 2 now of job chapter 42 he said i know he said i know he didn't say I know my pain, I know my problem, I know all the things I'm going through, it's unbearable. He said, I know that thou canst do everything. That's the foundation. If you're going to come out, and thank God you are coming out. I said you are coming out. You are coming out of that problem, of that challenge, and all you need is this, I know that thou canst do everything and that no thought can be withholding in from you it will happen jeremiah chapter 32 we're reading from verse 27 jeremiah chapter 32 we're reading from verse 27 behold i am the lord you know when God introduced himself, he introduced himself as a solution to every problem, as a healer for every sickness, as the savior of every soul. And he came and he didn't say, I used to be powerful, I used to be strong. In the days of Adam and Abraham, I used to be mighty. In the days of David, I used to be powerful. No, he said, I am the Lord. He's still the Lord today. He's still your Savior today. And he's still the healer today. A change is coming upon your life. Behold, behold means you've been looking at something. You're looking at the medical report. You're looking at, you know, what things say about you. And you're looking about the condition of your life. He said, pick up yourself. Look up. Don't keep on looking at that thing that is bringing depression and doubt to you. It says, behold, tonight you behold the Lord. Behold, I am the Lord the God of all flesh the God of all flesh you see those who deal with the flesh they specialize they specialize in taking care of their eyes other people specialize ENT on the eyes the nose and the throat other people specialize orthopedic they, they specialize on the on the bones other people specialize uh, for cancer patients but god is a specialty a specialized doctor in every area i missed your amen there is the god of all flesh is there any sin too hard for me is there any sin your condition too hard for me look at verse 17 in verse 17 look at what it says our lord god behold thou hast made the heaven and the earth thou hast made the heaven and the earth what's he saying there 
a sinner. Somebody who is able to repair aeroplane and large boats that cross the sea. Can you not repair your bicycle? That's just a bicycle. Somebody that repairs the thin heavy machine that supplies electricity to a whole country. And then you have a little generator. Can't you, uh, can't you repair your little generator? The God of heaven who is the maker of heaven and earth. That little armor. Of course you can repair that one. And that little problem on your leg that you are lame, you can repair that one. And that your soul that is feeling the guilt, you can take that guilt away. Our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, and stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. And there is nothing too hard for me. I come to you and I want to remind you, there is nothing too hard in your life, too hard in your soul, and too hard in your body, and too hard in your business, and too hard in your family. There is nothing too hard for him. Tonight, I come to you with miracle power. Tonight, I come to you with faith and assurance, telling you that every problem of your life, the Lord will roll away in Jesus' name. I believe, therefore, have I spoken that it will be according to your faith. According to your faith. According to your faith. He will forgive your sin. It will take your guilt away. It will write your name in the book of life. You are the person tonight, and as you link up with the Almighty God through the Lord Jesus Christ, your salvation has come. And I praise God for you. Because tonight, you're going home with your healing. You're going home with your deliverance. The power of God that created the heavens and the earth will roll away every sickness out of your body in Jesus' name. Don't let's waste any time now. The time for your healing, for your salvation has now come. According to your faith. According to your faith. What are you? According to your faith. What are you up there? According to your faith. Where are you up, 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 up there according to your faith? And then where are you, that location, that group, where are you there according to your faith? Miracles are happening tonight to you in Jesus' name. Open your mouth now. Tell him what you need. 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 What you need. According to your faith it shall be done. According to your faith, it shall be done. According to your faith, it shall be done. Every sin will be forgiven. Salvation will come. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. 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 Every sin taken away. Every guilt taken away. And every burden in your heart taken away. According to your faith, according to your faith, he cannot fail, he cannot fail, he cannot fail, according to your faith, he cannot fail, according to your faith, and of course, healing every part of your body, all flesh, all flesh, all flesh is going to touch every part, you'll be healthier than you ever felt any time of your life from the past even tonight in jesus name in jesus name we pray amen amen it's bowed and eyes closed god derives joy in manifesting mercy god derives joy in forgiving the sinner and he wants to have the joy of taking your sins away 
of taking your guilt away. He sent Jesus Christ to die for you. And he's so happy when somebody turns away from sin to make the sacrifice of his only begotten son relevant in his life. It's about now and eyes closed anywhere you are, in all the locations online over there, you're, you're receiving on YouTube, you're receiving through the social media, anywhere you are, forgiveness has come and is going to be delivered to you right now. If you have that guilt, that condemnation for any sin, you have committed a burden and you want the forgiveness and you want the freedom from that burden of sin. Anywhere you are, just raise up your hand as you receive Jesus as your Savior. He'll take your sins away to the depths of the sea. They'll never be remembered against you anymore. Just raise up your hand there and forgiveness is available. Raise up your hand there and your salvation is available. Raise up your hand there and say, Lord, I am the man, I am the woman, I am the boy, I am the girl, I want forgiveness, I want pardon, I want eternal life. Tell the Lord, you're so sorry you have been in those sinful practices. You're so sorry you have given your life to doing those things that are not right in the sight of God. Lord, I come. Forgive me. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I accept him now. He is my Savior. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Confess your sin. Turn away from them. And say, Lord, I receive your grace. I receive your mercy. I receive your love. I receive your salvation. That salvation is yours right now. In Jesus' name, we pray. You have prayed. God has answered the prayer. I'm just going to bring a confirmation to that salvation right now. Keep up your hand as I pray for you. Keep up your hand there as I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your love. I will thank you because you count everyone precious. And that's why you give Jesus Christ to be a Savior and Redeemer. Lord, manifest your love towards everyone right now in Jesus' name. Forgive all their sins. The ones they remember to confess and the ones they didn't even remember to confess, they, how can they remember everything, what they've done wrong since they were born until this time? Forgive them in Jesus' name. Let the joy of salvation and the freedom of your forgiveness come unto them right now in Jesus' name. Let your spirit, the Holy Ghost, bear witness in their heart that now they are forgiven and they are saved and their names are written in the book of life in heaven. We believe, therefore we confess that they are saved. That their names are in the book of life already. And the grace to continue with you, victorious and triumphant, grant you everyone in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord, it is done. I said, praise the Lord, it is done. Our leaders and ushers around you there, in all the various locations where we're gathered together, you are connected with this uh, program. Our leaders are there. They'll give you a card, and then you fill in your names and all the details to show that you believe. He has answered your prayer, you confessed your sin, you accepted Jesus as your Savior, and you are saved. If you are by yourself 
and you are listening to the message and you have given your life to the Lord and you find the numbers there on the screen. You send your name. You say, I am not born again. I am saved. Your salvation is confirmed in Jesus' name. Let's do that very quickly and then every miracle we need all things are available for you tonight in jesus name our leaders our ushers our ministers let's uh, do that very quickly and have all the names in and then uh, just in a moment of time miracle power will come upon your life And let's know, brothers and sisters, leaders, ushers, ministers, when you are through, let us know so we can move on. Make sure you capture all the names to help us in follow-up. Help us check up. Check up. No, you can stand there and check up. Let's know the leader who is in charge of that. Grand floor, please indicate if you are finished. Grand floor, group pastors, it's still on. First gallery. Group pastors, are you through? You are through? No, not yet. All right. Second floor. Second floor. Sion, let's be fast, please. Forgiveness is certain and sure. Your salvation undoubtable. He said it. He said come. And whosoever comes to me, I will in no wise cast off. As you accept Christ to be your Savior, he has accepted you into salvation. Let our leaders tell us when you are through First gallery, first gallery, please indicate. Group pastors, group pastors, first gallery, are you through? Please indicate. Second gallery, please. Pastors, you are done.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody there, I said, praise the Lord. Power. Healing. Deliverance. Miracle. Remember, it's you. Whatever problem you have, 